Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name's Stephanie and today we are embracing all things dark and chaotic with Mooncat's new Underworld collection. The set features six shades in a variety of different finishes with some of the colors seeming hauntingly familiar but I'll share more about that at the end after comparisons. For now, let's get into the swatches. The first shade we have is Pomegranate Seeds, and this one is described as a reddish purple lacquer filled with blue shimmer and color shifting orange to pink iridescent flakies. This one is super glowy. I feel like in the bottle, it almost gives it an indigo kind of look because of that strong blue shimmer. But once you apply it, you really do get that reddish purple base color. So it's almost like a chameleon <laughs> compared to what you see in the bottle, but it does build up really nicely. So on the first coat, you can tell it is a little bit sheer. It has a slight kind of jelly formula, but it is very even coverage. There's a good amount of flaky as well but I find that this shade is definitely better built up in at least two coats here on two coats I do get pretty great opacity it's maybe like 90% there in certain angles you can see some nail line so I did do a third coat but because the shade is so dark I think most people can get away with just two coats like if I were to wear this again I probably would just do two coats but yeah I love how glowy this is and I love how those flakies still stand out against the dark purple base. It's such a beautiful contrast. The next shade in the collection is House of Hades, and this one is a deep blue purple lacquer packed with cobalt ultra fine flakies. So I believe this is that new formula that Mooncat has been doing that is similar to Catfished or Molten Lava or Tectonic Shift from the recent collections where it's just this really tiny, tiny, ultra fine flaky. <laughs> and it is just so stunning. I mean, not so stunning on the first coat because it was a little bit sheer, but once you build it up on two coats, it does build up to be fully opaque, at least in my opinion, even on my longer nails. And I was just so blown away by this blue shimmer. It is just unreal how this glows. I love that cobalt color. The next shade we have is River Styx, and this one is a teal blue lacquer filled with green shimmer. So this one took my breath away. It just is so glowy, so ethereal and enchanting. I really love this one. I would say it's one of my favorites from this collection. And it has a really great formula too. I found it to be very full coverage on the first coat. It was a little tiny bit sheer, but I think the shimmer is just so, so strong that if you had a blurring base coat or something, you probably could get away with one coat, especially if your nails are shorter. But I think this one looks great in two. I would call it pretty full coverage in certain angles. You can see a little hint of nail line, but I just don't think it's enough to do a third coat. But yeah, this one is absolutely gorgeous. Next, we have Stolen Ambrosia, and this one is a coral lacquer filled with orange and yellow shimmer. So I definitely would say this is more of a true orange kind of shade. In some angles, I guess I can see that coral kind of base color, but I think because the shimmer is just so intense and so bright, it just really reads more orange and yellow leaning. Either way, it still is a really beautiful shade. I feel like it's so perfect for the time that we're in right now. Like, it's such a great summer kind of color to me. Obviously, you know, I'm a big seasonal wearer. So if you are too, this is probably going to be one of your favorites from this collection because it's just so bright and beautiful. But anyway, back to the formula. This one was a little bit sheer still on two coats. So I personally would wear this in three coats just because I like this one built up a little bit more for whatever reason i feel like just doing the third coat added to that brightness of the shimmers and it just makes it pop so much more and i didn't really have that same issue with river sticks for example so yeah this one for me is a three coater but i don't mind that at all i think it's gorgeous the next shade we have is pandemonium and this one is a red lacquer filled with color shifting red to orange shimmer 
and oh my god this one really took my breath away do you see that first coat it is crazy this one is so rich and opaque i mean not a hundred percent opaque as you can see my nail line is still a little visible but it just had such great coverage on the first coat alone that it just really impressed me it wasn't streaky or patchy in any way this one just had such a delicious formula so i personally left this one on two coats even though you can still make out my nail line a little bit i just think the color is so rich and pigmented that you don't really need another coat but obviously it comes down to preference but yeah i love this red and rounding out the collection we have gates of hell and this one is a color shifting black to red multi-chrome lacquer with micro hollow glitter so this one is my favorite from the collection i love how vampy it is and of course leave it to mooncat to release a super dark vampy shade in the middle of july and me a seasonal wearer I'm obsessed with it <laughs> it is so so good my only kind of gripe i guess with the description is that i wouldn't really call this like a true black shade as you can see it kind of has like this almost eggplant kind of color to it i still absolutely love it though and in certain angles or sides of my nail you can see that it turns black i'm assuming it's because of the red shimmer in there which i know doesn't really stand out right now but now that i adjust the light it is so strong i love this shade so so much but yeah i'm guessing the red shimmer is what causes the base to look a little purpley and here is the collection all together. I think it is such a stunning lineup. But yeah, as far as any similar shades, I would say it's House of Hades and Pomegranate Seeds. Even though, again, Pomegranate Seeds is more of that reddish purple color, because it has that strong blue shimmer, it can kind of look similar to House of Hades, but they're not dupes. I don't know if we needed both though, but I still love this color story. Now moving on to comparisons, I wanted to quickly show Mortals Be Warned next to Pomegranate Seeds because even though it is a very different formula, I feel like they still have very similar colors in them with the purple base and shifting to blue and even orange and pink, but yeah, not dupes. But for some closer comparisons, I had to see this next to A Very Merry Unbirthday, which is from the Alice in Wonderland collection. That one was limited edition, so I'm not even sure if you can get that one anymore. But yeah, it just felt very familiar when I first saw Pomegranate Seeds. And I also wanted to show it next to Holo Taco's Late Checkout from the Vacation collection because it has a very similar purple base with a strong blue shimmer. And that one has these like gold or kind of copper looking reflective glitters. So it's sort of is similar, but on the nail, it ends up being a lot darker and more like indigo leaning while the other two shades have a more true reddish purple color so as you can see a very merry unbirthday seems to have the same kind of base as pomegranate seeds the main difference between these two is their flakies where a very merry unbirthday has these small multi-chrome flakies and pomegranate seeds has larger iridescent flakies Next up for House of Hades, I had to see this next to When Hell Freezes Over, which was a limited edition single release thing that Mooncat did a while ago. And I thought they were going to be a lot more similar as far as the colors go. Obviously, When Hell Freezes Over is more of a jelly, flaky kind of bomb. So formula-wise, they're obviously very different, but they ended up being super different color-wise. You can see House of Hades is more of that blue-purple kind of indigo shade, while When Hell Freezes Over it has a slight aqua feel to it. I thought I could also show this next to Rue Morgue, which is also for Mooncat. I just have the old bottle. That one is more of a deeper navy kind of base color with a strong blue shimmer, but it's not quite as vibrant as House of Hades. Then for River Styx, I of course had to show this next to Gamma Ray Blaster from their most recent Dearly Departed series, so it's no longer available, and it did break my heart when they were saying they were getting rid of this one because I thought it was such a beautiful shade, but then once I saw River Styx, I was like, okay, fine, I guess, I get it. 
<laughs> but yeah they're not quite dupes gamma ray blaster is obviously a lot darker with more of a true blue base and then river sticks is more aqua leaning so it's basically like the 2.0 version I also wanted to show this next to Catfished from the recent Mermaid Tales collection. They're obviously very different formulas. Catfished has the ultra fine flaky formula, but it has a somewhat similar color palette. And here it is next to KB Shimmer's Take a Bow, which I recently shared as one of my favorite greens. It just kind of reminded me of this shade because of that strong glow to it, but obviously they are pretty different color-wise. KB Shimmer is more of a true green kind of base color with a stronger yellow shimmer, and River Sticks is the aqua base with green shimmer. And while I don't have this shade in my collection, I still wanted to kind of do a side-by-side -side with Hollow Taco's Light Link. They're definitely similar, but I would say River Sticks is more of that, again, blue kind of base color with a green shimmer, and then Light Link looks a little greener with more of a gold shimmer. Next for Stolen Ambrosia, I immediately thought of Flight of the Monarchs, but that ends up looking a lot more like a golden orange yellow shimmer next to how warm Stolen Ambrosia is. So since that one is a little more orange, I thought I could also share it with Mooncat's Molten Lava, even though that one is that ultra fine flaky formula. So it's kind of like that similar thing going on with River Styx and Catfished, where they're like the same kind of color, but different formulas. So yeah, once on the nail, you can definitely tell them apart. Again, Flight of the Monarchs just has a much brighter golden orange kind of glow to it. And Molten Lava definitely is similar color wise, but just a totally different formula. I also wanted to show this next to Hollow Taco's Sunset Simulation. That one is kind of a darker and more red leaning multi-chrome shade, so it's not as bright and orangey. So I thought maybe Encryption Key would be more similar, but I think it depends on the photos and the lighting because some photos it just looks a lot more red. So definitely similar vibes, but not dupes. Next for Pandemonium, I wanted to show this next to Shroom Dumb, which came out in the Lost in a Folktale collection. This is the only other true bright red kind of color in Mooncat's catalog, but it's a very different formula. So more similar formula-wise, we have Con Artist, which came out last year. That one is a little bit of a darker red though, and it's also more sheer too, so it ends up not really comparing as well, I would say. But yeah, kind of similar vibes, but Pandemonium is just a much brighter, juicy kind of red with a better formula. And lastly for Gates of Hell, I wanted to see this next to Blood Moon because it just kind of gave me similar vibes color-wise with that really deep, vampy, almost purple kind of color, but it's obviously a linear holographic, so super different formula-wise. So I thought maybe something a little similar would be Mooncat's Snake Bite, which is not available anymore. I think this was part of their Dearly Departed series last year, but it does have a pretty similar vampy base color. It just has those like hollow flakies and glitters and stuff, so it ends up giving a pretty different finish. So I would say those two are most similar color-wise, but not dupes. And last but certainly not least, I had to show Gates of Hell next to Hollow Taco's Double Dare, which was the birthday polish this past year. It definitely has that similar vibe being that black base with the red multi-chrome shimmer. The only other main difference is that Hollow Taco has the red reflective glitters, but once you see them on the nail here in indirect lighting, you can really tell them apart where Hollow Taco has more of that true black base while Mooncats looks just a little bit plummy. And then when you see them in indirect lighting, the red shimmer stands out a lot more in the Mooncat shade than it does in Double Dare. So that wraps up my swatches and comparisons for Mooncat's new Underworld collection. Definitely let me know what you all think of this lineup because I'm loving it. I feel like it's just so on point for Mooncat as a brand. Like, of course, we're going to the underworld in the middle of summer when everybody else is wearing neons and bright shades. <laughs> but I think it is just so fun and I love the mix of finishes and everything too. 
but I'm really curious to know what you all think about the comparisons for some of these. Like, are you happy with River 6 being the 2.0 version of Gamma Ray Blaster? I'm not really sure if they even said that at all. I'm just kind of claiming that because they are so similar and I can understand why Gamma Ray Blaster was discontinued since River 6 is being released. So I think it is a pretty good replacement. Like at first I was upset about Gamma Ray Blaster because I thought it was so beautiful and it still is, but I think I do like River 6 a little bit more. But I'm also curious to know what you think about A Very Merry Birthday and Pomegranate Seeds because I feel like Pomegranate Seeds is just like a little too similar to A Very Merry Birthday and I don't love that but I guess the silver lining is that we might just get some polishes sometimes that look a little similar but they're like a 2.0 version or just you know a different iteration of something we've already seen from Mooncat. They're definitely again very different finish wise so they're not quite dupes but those two just felt like a little too similar for me at least. But yeah like I said I am loving this mix of colors in this lineup. I love that there's like the brighter shades because obviously I'm going to be gravitated more towards those for this time of year but I really do love the darker shades as well like obviously I had to put on Gates of Hell because it is just so rich, so dark, sexy, vampy. I'm going to be wearing this so much in the fall and I cannot wait but yeah I just had to put it on for the video. I'm probably going to take this off and put on like Merkitten and go to the pool later but if you're not in the mood for these darker shades then just stay tuned for tomorrow's video because that one's going to be like a 180 to this one. It's kind of funny and I'm happy that I got this video up today but Either way, let me know any and all thoughts that you have down below so we can chat about it. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.